Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're going to be going over how to play the Basics First Society Dev Access. Society? Society? Society. There we go. Boom. Society Dev Access. So, this is going to be as a law enforcement officer. This guy, this bozo right next to me, he's going to be trying to do something slick. Not going to be happening. So, first off, obviously, you're not going to be driving around in a cop car like I am. However, I'm going to show you exactly how to play. Too easy, okay? too easy want to get you guys squared away get to get you guys blessed this dude come on man what, what, what the dog doing take a right come on turn right come on let's go let's go apologies for the graphics i mean not being the greatest right now dude don't even test me dude come on stop being a bozo i'll blast you to another planet okay so i'm gonna kind of go over the basics here real quick okay so to begin with, once you join in, so let's just read me here. When you first join in, you're going to have to select whether or not your uniform and also your uh, your identifier. So when you select your identifier, you'll be greeted with a character customization. So your outfits will obviously have all the outfits. However, the polo is reserved for higher ranking members. And then the long sleeve or class A's. So if we turn out my graphics quality here a little bit, you can see that the class A long sleeve has the rank and or chevrons of the individual. So if we find another individual here, we can say that this individual most likely is a beginner deputy because of his one chevron. If somebody has two chevrons, then they're most likely a, so this is like this guy, he's a probie. This officer over here, no idea. But if we find another officer, for instance, down here somewhere, maybe? No, that's okay. But basically, you can identify people based upon their ranks, based upon their arms. Anywho, though, once we continue on, our props, which are going to be our hats. So you can select a ball cap and or a campaign hat. Campaign hat, in my opinion, is pretty nice. Or you can select no hat, which will basically remove all the hats off your head. Components, you can have mask and radios. So in this case, I am using a right shoulder whisper mic. Without a body cam, because I have a body cam here. You can choose your handgun holsters, which is literally just a drop leg if you are higher ranking enough. Click back on this one. And then belts, you can select a light or a heavy. And then finally, we have your undershirts and vests, which I'm currently rocking a lightweight, but you can rock a light, heavy, or maybe, or just a PC, which I personally just rock a PC. So, now that you've selected your gear format, you will see that both of these should be green check marks which is you just you literally a uniform and a belt once you get those two you are basically set and good to go start role playing however however before you start role playing you want to 100 percent walk over to the armor here and grab some of your tools so non-lethal is going to be your stop sticks as well as your taser if you look inside of your inventory it will show you which is stop sticks right there lethal weapons if you are a senior deputy plus basically a level 7 plus you can get the hk416 and here soon you'll be able to get a ar-15 with a three round burst if you are at least at level two basically a deputy um but as of right now for most people you can just get an ar-15 or a glock which you already spawn with the clock and then finally for the miscellaneous you can get a flashlight which most people already spawn with it your handcuffs role play tool which is primarily used for detaining individuals it is not required to role play or not required to play the game however though it is a nice role play tool especially if you have an individual that will role play with you next we have the lidar gun which is literally as it says instead of you pulling um using your radar which is literally your uh, your in vehicle radar you can use a lidar gun which you could be standing outside of your vehicle with it next is your medical kit definitely highly recommend getting one for your person and then one on your vehicle and then next you have your tablet. There are many colors that you can select. So I personally usually go for black or white. This time I'll go for a white tablet. Now that I've got all the tools required for my role play on how I like to role play, I'm good to go and set out the door. But for this purpose, since we are doing a tutorial, we're going to be showing you guys around the building here real quick. So first off, we're going to have the main lobby. The main lobby is where all your civilians come. These two blue circles is where they can pay off their bounties. So Literally, just don't arrest people while they're paying off their bounties. And also, if you do, it is a uh, jailable offense. And basically, that's just an admin coming in and jailing you for 600 seconds or 10 minutes, I believe. Next, we have our ATM here. One of two ATMs at the police station, I believe. Um, this ATM can be used for purchasing vehicles or for people that need to pay off their bounty. We have the briefing room for role plays if you are in a private server. Or if people are just really doing an awesome job. Next, we have our prisoners or our booking and 
transporting. All you do is come down here and you can see anybody that's in the cells typically. It looks like we don't have any confinees in here, so that's okay. But if you did have somebody, you would come down to this, what is it, corporal, I believe? Or it is a deputy third class. I believe he's a corporal. Yeah, I think he's a corporal because he has the uh, two chevrons plus that. So you'll come up to him and then you'll just press K if you have somebody cuffed. Looks like we got a lot of radio chatter going on here. Um, they got a 1080 or 1080, I don't know. And then finally, we have the interview room, which right here, you can just watch people. And then here, pardon me, this is the interview room, and this is the viewing area. This is kind of just dead space back here. So, now that we've given you the grand tour of the entire building, let's show you exactly how to spawn a car. So, you just want to walk outside of the building here, and depending on your team, if you are LSPD or the sheriff's office, you'll come up to your blue circle, and you'll press E. Next, you have a couple options. And obviously, there's going to be increasing over time. However, for right now, you have the 2018 FPIU, the Slick Top FPIS, you have the 2013 FPIU, the 2016 Dodge Charger, the 2020 FPIU as well, which is super slick. It's appearing to be a little bit glitched at the moment for the spacing. And then finally, the 2017 FPIS. Personally, I like to rock the sedan. However, for today's purposes, we're going to be rocking the Charger along with my which vehicle had it 2018 here we go i'm going to be rocking the memorial day livery on the 2018 it does appear that somebody's trying to shoot at me and absolutely obliterate me that is perfectly fine it's just an officer looks like we got a person here kind of just chilling out let's go buster oh we got a little bit of a cluster going on that is okay there we go. We are out of it. Now, once we are out of here, we can get to a safe space. Which is probably just right here, to be honest with you. This dude's being a bozo. So, our vehicle, okay? Some of the basic functions for the vehicle. Start off with, for your mobile users. You'll have your pedals and you'll have your buttons. Right now, you are not able to turn on your headlights and turn on your police lights. However, that is going to be coming in some future updates here very soon. Um, we're just trying to make sure that the PC players are a little bit um, squared away than PC or mobile is, but we are getting there though. Um, so for you mobile users, you are able to use these. This is a more of more. These are this is more of a feature to drag it around for mobile users. And then also, if you press N as in November on your keyboard or your uh, mouse in the future, you'll be able to open up the CAD. The CAD does. Uh, fade away if you do basically hover out of it and you can also drag it around we have the dashboard and then database and in the future for uh, personal rps and also for wireless servers there's going to be more buttons such as reports um, next we're going to have our username search as well as our vehicle plate search which for example if you search in myself you can see myself here pop up and you can see all the arrest reports i've had um, right now there's the only arrest reports button and not so there's supposed to be citations as well as reports that i've just had on myself but Next, for the vehicle, we have our fuel gauge, which is literally just right here. A typical fuel gauge will last you for about 30 minutes of playtime. Um, if you are driving a sports car, it's going to be usually about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and if you're driving consistently all the time, dang, 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 it's going to go down a little bit faster. But if you're sitting idle, you will not really lose gas. Next, you're going to have your speed. So if you're not an American... Um, and you read kilometers an hour, you can easily select it here and it will instantly change to kilometers an hour. Um, however, the automatic, because our game takes place in America, technically, and we just had a duress go off. Um, that means somebody is in duress and hopefully they'll send out a location. Uh, three, four, five, we need units fired behind Grove. Let's respond to that real quick. Shots fired, Green Mustang. Behind Grove.
I hope this is not a cop. He died? Sheesh! What a bit bad day for you, bud. Uh, darling, I'll let you take care of this. Actually, this is a really good time for me to roleplay. So I'm gonna handcuff him if you wouldn't mind uh, just releasing him real quick. Because I'm actually recording still. But of course, I'm like once like if we're gonna just ban him afterwards. But so when you come in contact with an individual, so for you new officers that are on scene here, okay, um, when you are handcuffing an individual, you can search them using the keybind L, and literally this is just being able to confiscate their weapons. So upon confiscating their weapons, you can also he doesn't have does he have a vehicle? He does have a vehicle. However. You do not need the handcuffs tool to actually handcuff somebody. However, if you do click on the back, it will apply the handcuffs. And if you release them, they'll be handcuffed forever. So in this case, we're going to place them inside of my vehicle. Um, and if you do place them inside of your vehicle or you just keep them in cuffs, they basically become LTAA. And if they leave the game, they'll get five minutes in jail time. So they're kind of stuck with you until you leave the game, um, which then they don't. They get unarrested and everything like that. So his vehicle is just going to be down here. And we're just going to take a look at it real quick. Um, make sure, clear it out real, real quick. Make sure that we're looking good. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay. So we're just going to search his vehicle here real quick. And he does not have anything inside of it. However, they are able to store stuff inside of the vehicles. So say that he had, for instance, a Glock inside of here. You'd be able to, oh, remove it from the vehicle. Um, in this case, I'm not able to because I already have a Glock. And so I kind of just played myself. And that's okay you are able to search his vehicle you are not able to play somebody that is in cuffs inside of another vehicle but so a lot of people don't know that you can search the player and you can search their vehicle that they own but they must be in handcuffs okay so we're gonna head down to the police station now and we are going to arrest this individual for attempted murder or actually not an attempted he did murder so let's just head on down here real quick oh bop Okay. So this individual will just be arrested. Like there is no set time at the moment. There is no booking station because that kind of relies a lot on the player, or a lot of trust on the player, basically stating on what they did. Um, here in the future, though, we are going to make it so then there is a smart system that will be like, hey, they murdered somebody, they also robbed somebody, and then it kind of just racks and stacks their charges within like the stuff that they have done within like the past uh, like five minutes or so. So. For booking, we're going to go into the prisoner-based area now. We're just going to back up here. And now we're going to pull him out of the vehicle by pressing F. This is going to be cuff and remove. And this will put him straight to our inventory. Ooh. Okay, there we go. We can bring him downstairs and into the station. Looks like somebody's robbing the LTD. As said, there's an alarm. We just walk down here. And then we can put him in jail. So kind of like this individual here. Um, he's in jail as well, but if we kind of take a look down, ooh, take a look down here, you can see that he is just going to be an inmate right here. Big chillin'. So, that is essentially on how to be a law enforcement officer within society. That is a really broken down system and really broken down way on exactly what everything is. Um, obviously, we have other tools here flares, barriers, your taser, ticket book, road flares, but you can figure all those out. Just a quick though. Um, to place any of them are literally um, F, rotate them as R, and then to actually get rid of all of them. So if we place them here, get rid of them is just pressing Z. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot more to show, guys. Um, I hope you did enjoy the video, and thank you for watching. I will be doing next time a, either A, probably honestly just a patrol video because the role plays here are not too bad, except this one kid. He's a bozo. Um, anyways, though, um, what is it called?
most likely either A, a patrol video, or B, a civilian how-to basics tutorial. Um, that is it, though, for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.